if someone is in the hospital and they're really sick, um, there's really nothing that a clinician can do other than give them supportive care. What we've been trying to do is develop uh, broad spectrum antivirals um, that work not only against the coronaviruses that we know about today, like SARS-CoV-2, the causative agent of COVID-19, but also we want these things to have a broad application against coronaviruses that might emerge in the future. A vaccine basically is something that you take as a preventative measure. So this could be a vaccine against SARS coronavirus 2, SARS CoV 2, the causative agent of COVID 19. Um, if we got a vaccine, then we would be our bodies would be protected from infection by that agent. So what an antiviral drug does, it's different. Most of the time, you're taking these things after you know you got sick. Um, to try and decrease the symptoms that you might have and prevent the development of severe disease. And you might prevent lots of older people or people that have underlying health conditions from going to the hospital and ending up on a ventilator. We started working on remdesivir um, five or six years ago. All of the work that we did set this drug up for immediate deployment into human clinical trials for COVID-19. I think that's different than like someone who might find something today, right? They have to do all the work that we've been doing for the past five years before they can use this drug in a person or even test it for safety. There are several human clinical trials all over the world evaluating the potential for different antiviral drugs to have some effect on COVID-19. Remdesivir, chloroquine, some of the HIV protease inhibitors, and some of these other things. We can basically close the door or open the door on these things and say, this is useful, this is hurtful. <laughs> um, it's hard to know which way the wind is gonna blow.